All right, who'd like to read? <clears throat> I can go ahead if you like. Thanks, Gloria. Uh, chapter 10, yeah? That's yep. where we are? <clears throat> sure are. Okay. Okay, you cannot retain a true and clear vision of wealth if you are constantly turning your attention to uh, opposing pictures, other external or imaginary. Do not tell others of any post-financial troubles. Do not think of them at all. Do not tell anyone about the poverty of your parents or the hardships of your early life. To do any of these things is to mentally clash yourself with the poor for the time being. And this will certainly check the movement of things in your direction. Let the dead bury the dead. Put poverty and all things that pertain to poverty completely behind you. You have accepted a certain theory of the universe as being correct and, and are resting all your hopes and happiness on its being correct. What can you gain by giving heed to a conflicting theory? Do not read religious books which tell you that the world is soon coming to an end. Do not read the writings of, of muck, brick, muckrackers, breakers, and pessimistic philosophers who tell you that it is going to, going to the devil. The world is not going to the devil, it's going to God. It is a wonderful becoming. True, there may be a good many things of existing conditions which are disagreeable. But what is the use of studying them when they are certainly passing away? And when the study of them only tends to check their passing and keeping them with us? Why give time and attention to things which are being removed by evolutionary growth? when you can hasten your removal only by promoting the evolutionary growth as far as your part of it goes. Somebody want to continue? Or should I keep going? Hello? No matter... You can okay, okay. Okay. No matter how horrible the apparent conditions may be in certain countries, sections, or places, you waste your time and destroy your own chances by considering them. Uh, you should interest yourself in the world becoming rich. Think of the rich that the world is coming into instead of the poverty that it is growing out of. And bear in mind that the only way in which you can assist the world in growing rich is by growing rich yourself through the creative method, not the competitive one. Give your attention uh, wholly to riches ignore poverty. Uh, whenever you think or speak of those who are poor, think and speak of them as those who are becoming rich, as those who are to be congratulated rather than to be. Then they and others will catch the inspiration and begin to search for the way out. Because I say that you are to give your whole time and mind and thought to riches, it does not follow that you are to be sorbid or mean. To become really rich is the noblest aim you can have in sight because of it, it includes everything else. On the competitive plane, the struggle to get rich is, is goddess scramble for power over the people. But when we come into the creative mind, all that this is changed. At that, at that, all that is possible in the way of greatness and soul unfoldment. Of service and lofty endeavor comes by way of getting rich. All is made possible by the use of things. If you do not have physical health, you will find that its attainment is conditional on your getting rich. Only those who are emancipated from financial worry and who have the means to live a carefree existence and follow hygiene practices can have and retain health. Moral and spiritual greatness is only possible for those who are above the competitive battle for existence and only those who are becoming rich on the plane of creative thought are free from the degrading influences of competition. If your heart is set on Domestic happiness, remember that love flourishes best where there is refinement, a high level of thought, and freedom from corrupted, corrupting influences. These are to be found only where riches are attained without strife and rivalry by the exercise of creative thought. I repeat, you can aim all at nothing so great or noble as to become rich. 
you must fix your attention upon your mental picture of riches to the exclusion of all that it may tend to aid or obscure your vision. You must learn to see the underlying truth in all things. You must be benefit beneath all the seemingly wrong conditions. The great, the great one life ever moving forward towards fuller expression and more complete happiness. It is the truth that there is no such thing as poverty. There is only wealth. Some people remain in poverty because they are ignorant of the fact that there is wealth for them. These people uh, can best be taught by showing them the way to affluence in your own person and practice. Somebody want to carry on number 86? I can go if no one else is in a position to read. Um, others are poor because while they feel there is a way out, they're too intellectually indolent to put forth the mental effort necessary to find the way to travel it. And for these people, the very best thing you can do is to arouse their desire by showing them the happiness that comes from being rightly rich. Others are poor because while they have some notion of science, they have become so swamped and lost in a maze of metaphysical and occult theories that they do not know which road to take. They try a mixture of many systems and fail in all. For these, gain again, the very best, best thing to do is to show them the right way in your own personal practice. An ounce of doing things is worth a pound of theorizing. The very best thing you can do for the whole world is to make the most of yourself. You can serve God and your fellow humans in no more effective way than by getting rich. That is, if you get rich by the creative method and not by the competitive one. Another thing, I assert that this book gives in detail the principles of the science of getting rich. You do not need to read any other book upon the subject. This may seem sound narrow and egotistical. However, there's no more scientific method of computation in the mathematics than by addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. No other method is possible. There can only be one shortest distance between two points. There is only one way to think scientifically and that is to think in the way that leads by the most direct and simple route to the goal. No person has yet formulated a briefer or less complex system than the one I'm describing here. It has been stripped of all non-essentials. When you begin this method, lay all others aside. Put them out of your mind altogether. Read this book every day. Keep it with you. Commit it to memory. Do not think about other systems and theories. If you do, you will begin to have doubts and become uncertain and wavering in your thought. Then you will bring negative thought to the form of substance. After you have made good and become rich, you may study other systems as much as you please. But until you are quite sure that you have gained what you want, do not read anything else on the subject except the authors mentioned in the preface. Only read the most optimistic comments of the world's news, just those that are in harmony with your picture. Also, postpone your investigations into the occult. Don't dabble in the theosophy, spiritual or kindred studies. It's very likely that the dead still live and are near, but if they are, let them alone. Mind your own business. Wherever the spirits of the dead may be, <clears throat> they have their work to do and their own problems to solve. We have no right to interfere with them. We cannot help them and it's very doubtful whether they can help us or whether we have any right to trespass upon their time if they can. Let the dead with the hereafter alone. Solve your own problem. Get rich. If you begin to mix with the occult, you'll start mental cross currents, which will surely bring your hopes to shipwreck. Lastly, this and the preceding chapters have brought to us, oh, sorry, brought us to the following statement of basic facts. There is a thinking stuff from which all things are made and which in its original state permeates, penetrates and fills the outer spaces, or, sorry, inner spaces of the universe. A thought in this substance produces the thing that is imagined by the thought. You can form things in your thought and by impressing your thought upon formless substance can cause the thing you think about to be created. In order to do this, you must pass from the competitive to the creative mind. 
You must form a clear mental picture of the things you want. And you must hold this picture in your thoughts with a fixed purpose to get what you want and an unwavering faith that you will get what you want. Closing your mind against all that may tend to shake your purpose, dim your vision, quench your faith. In an, and in addition to this, we shall now see what we must live it and that we must live and act in a certain way. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, that gets clearer and clearer every time you read it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> So, question one, uh, what have you learnt in this chapter about telling others about your troubles? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, you're stirring it up, you know, it's so bad, it's like turning your back to the plow, you know, and going back, you know, there was always a saying, is like a dog going back to his vomit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I think that's in the scripture, one of the scriptures in Proverbs. Yeah. Like, yeah, and so that's probably a powerful analogy, isn't it? Yeah. I, I didn't pick it up when I read it the first time, but I picked it up when you were reading just now, and it, I think it refers to that, what was it, uh, in line 31. Um, yeah. If you, oh, sorry, starting from 30, no matter how horrible the apparent conditions may be in certain countries, yeah. sections or places, yeah. you waste your time and destroy your own chances by considering them. So whatever picture is in your mind is the message yeah. that you're sending to the form of substance. So you don't want that picture going out. <laughs> no, no. And think about it. Uh, uh, it's, it's really true. Today, I took a, we took a, a Porsche out for a test drive and we pulled up to Starnberg here, uh, we were in the Munich office and as soon as I got out of the car, this guy came walking by and he says, wow, I started talking in German, I didn't know what he was saying to me, but I just smiled, I said, yeah, <laughs> yeah, be great, oh, that's good, <laughs> and then he comes, he says, oh, you're American, he said, I said, well, I'm from Vancouver, and he says, oh, yeah, he says, well, you look like you have a good life. He says, you look like you found the right man. Oh. <laughs> I, just had to laugh. I know I said, no, he found me. I said, it wasn't him. <laughs> I was getting a little cheeky. That was fun. Yeah, it's nice. I'm just reading what I wrote down. I've written down, uh, in the moment that you have thoughts, conversations and images of poverty, that yeah. is the thought frequency that you are offering or impressing on the substance and that will be acted upon. Wow. Yeah. What line, what line is that one? Oh, that's just what I wrote in my answer <laughs> oh, <laughs> to the really question. Nice. It's true though, yeah. The moment, the moment, it's the moment not just later, it's at that moment. Yeah. yeah, and you know, it all comes back to that image, doesn't it? Like whatever that image is, that is the communication that we're sending to, well, in this book, Formless Substance, to, and that's yeah. what we're gonna be getting back. We get back every single thing we ask for. Everything yeah. that we picture in our mind is acted upon. We just need to train ourselves to block out anything that, that we don't want acted upon. Yeah, true. Like that. It's all a boomerang. It's all a Oh my goodness. Yeah. And something else I learned <sighs> recently too is, you know, thoughts are so powerful that they can do that. But a, an image is a group of thoughts and ideas that you've brought together. So how much more powerful is an image than one single thought? Uh -huh. okay. well, I think Rooney may have lost that, his. That means. Sorry. Ready? I was just wondering. I think that Rooney may have lost his. What did you say? Oh, sorry. I thought you may have lost your audio because I could hear something, but there was no voice. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just muted it. I just muted it. Ah, okay. Yeah, thoughts become things. Yeah, that's really true. 
<laughs> it becomes clear and clear what that means. <laughs> And, but, you know, we have to take action too. Like, it's not like you can just sit down and think about something and, it, and it's going to present itself. How it works is inspiration. You're, you get inspired to take action. Other people are inspired to take action. Um, is it in this chapter he talks about the mining of the gold from the mountain? Yeah. Uh, if you know if the gold needs to come from the mountain to get to you then someone will be inspired to go and dig it up but you also need to be in a position where you're offering a service where the person who dug it up is going to pay you the gold or in exchange for your service so you know you've got to you've got to give back as well but the thing is that while you're giving back you'll be getting your image rather than whatever else you've allowed your mind to fluff around with. Right. Yeah, right on. Yeah. I love this stuff. And the other thing in this chapter is, he says to hold the vision in faith and purpose. And when we were doing the Think and Grow Rich chapter, we were talking about how he says, how Napoleon Hill says that faith gives power to thought and that faith transforms the ordinary vibration of thought into its spiritual equivalent. So without faith, the thought can't reach the spiritual realm and be acted upon. Wow. So, you know, faith is so important. It's really one of those things that we should be working on a lot. And that's like faith in the form of substance or faith in infinite. Because yeah. without that, the thoughts aren't going to reach there anyway. Yeah, that's Hebrews 11, I think. In Hebrews 11, it says faith is the thing that uh, is the confidence in what we hope for and insurance about what we do not see. And that's where we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, so that what is seen was not made and out of it was visible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. really the more... Uh, the more I study, the more I see it being, um, the more I see that the Bible is yeah. inspired. Right, 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's, so, there's so much in there that's telling us so much that we missed. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I, was just, I don't know what I was reading before, but yeah. I just go back to that and I said, oh, that's what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you know, as you learn, you've got it from there. Well, <laughs> Well, it's from the same source anyway. <laughs> yeah, it is. Beautiful. Yeah. What, what, do, what do you guys think about uh, what they say about don't read other stuff? Because sometimes, you know, this last week I started reading something else and then I just dropped it because uh, it was not, it was not about uh, vision, about, you know, about, about positive things it was about all, all kind of stuff there was also a book about being billionaire or something but when i start reading it it doesn't it didn't uh, work then i i just dropped it what yeah. do you guys think about that i think you really need to get the basic concept and start getting the basic concept working for yourself first and then like he says then expand so the, what's the basic concept train your thoughts Train your yeah. thoughts so you don't let anything in there that you don't want. Have faith. Or that maybe you don't, maybe that you don't understand because everybody has a message and you know, like this is what was said in this book here, is that when you start reading all the other things, you start getting all these different uh, ideas and questions in your mind and then you're trying to figure out, uh, well, what's right and what is he saying and somebody else says something else. And I think it's, just like stay on the same path, you know, the, the highway, don't go over on the ditch somewhere, just stay where you are, you know, be consistent, isn't it about persistence and consistency in the one thing, it's because, because when you ride a bike and then you start riding somebody else's bike, it doesn't feel familiar, it's not, it doesn't feel the same because you have been on your own bike for so long, which is so easy, and so I think maybe that's an analogy. I don't know yeah. the, analogy, but... yeah, the other thing, the other question I have is, uh, you know, that we are we are at a 
I think chapter 11, isn't it? We're and, in 10, um, yeah. 10, 10. And we are still thinking about, you know, talking about thinking. So uh, I wonder about, you know, the actions you need to, you need to take because, you know, I think a lot about the, my, my business and the thinking has helped me a lot, of course, because with the thinking, you know, every day you, you wake up for the vision, with the vision and everything day, if there is something which doesn't, it's like appearances, it, it's not the, the vision, you just think through it. So I stick to the vision, I stick to the big picture, but what sometimes what I need is, you know, the, the, the action, the, the, how do you go from the vision, from, you know, from feeling the reality, because I can create a whole uh, vision around me. That's what we are doing also in the Facebook group every day. And what I've seen is that, I mean, I can't imagine the, the, the vision, I can't imagine big things, but sometimes I feel like, okay, well, what is the next action, you know? I'm a little bit impatient, impatient. So, <laughs> yeah, so what, what I was reading, I don't know whether it was in here. Am I muted? Hello? Yeah, no, Sorry. you're there. We oh, well, something's happened to this, the front of my, sorry, I was just getting off the bus there. Something's happened to the front of my screen. So I don't know if I'm on or I'm not on. But I, I was just going to say, I totally, when I think we were talking about faith and what came to me is that as a scripture that says faith without works is dead. So I'm kind of with, with Rooney on that as well, because it is, I, I think about action because we can, I've got that, I've got the thoughts now. I've nailed, that. well, I haven't nailed it. That's a bit, you know. But I'm so, I've concentrated so hard on making sure that I'm, you know, I've got the image right in my head and I'm very clear and every day I'm taking action towards that. And yes, as you've probably seen from my messages, things are starting to move and I do get a little bit of paralyzed sometimes over analyzing things. But I do think it's really important every single day to be moving or doing something towards the goal as opposed to just writing about it or thinking about it. I guess that's probably where the mastermind comes in, a good mastermind group, so that you can be accountable. But but yeah, I, I think it's action is absolutely crucial. Um, like really clear, clear, clear action steps to take, taking them so that you're actually moving forward to your goal as it's moving towards you. Because otherwise you're, I, I you know, it's just there, isn't it? Yeah. And energy, Lorraine, Lorraine. Energy sorry. makes energy. Lorraine, a question, how do you, how do you take action? Because when you have the vision and everything, so you're feeling right. And yeah. How you, uh, and what? How do you take action? Do so, you take so like I, step I, step actions, or do you think like okay, this I need to think, you know, from the from the vision, and then you take an action, a big action. How do you do that? Yeah. So, so from 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 my perspective, the vision is uh, what it is, and in order, and then I just break it down. So in order to achieve this. Um, and I know it's not like a big focus on the how, um, but I do need to have some action steps to take. And things come up quite by accident. So I was um, researching, so I know I need to work towards having my own business. So there are action steps that I need to take in order to set up my business. So I need to make sure I'm taking that because that is one of the paths for my financial freedom. So the, the work that needs to be done to make that happen is something, I need to do something every single day towards that. So I am writing my goals and what it is that I want. And I know that one of the paths to that is this business that I'm setting up. So I need to be making sure that I'm taking action on that. And what I do every evening is just write down you know, what I'm going to do for the next day and then try my best to make sure that I do that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I, do, I don't do it. Fear, I have to admit, procrastination. But, you know, ideally that's the way to do it making sure that I'm actually working on something that will produce the result that I want to achieve. And then, as I was saying, quite by accident, I stumbled on a site when I was writing my Act As If Day, so my big goal to have a housing project, I stumbled on a site that had step-by-step -step instructions of how to do that. So I've started to research that now so I can actually be quite clear on how my goal could be a reality, something that's like so huge and way bigger than me it suddenly was in my face that actually Lorraine, this is not bigger than you i'm wondering if my goal perhaps wasn't big enough it was scaring me before but now it's like okay so i can see how this could work there's a lot that's involved but i can see how it would work i know who i would need to speak to i know what sort of organization so in terms of taking action it's like researching what it is that i want to do 
and then finding out what steps are involved to make that happen and then just slowly you know just put that all part chart all of that and make sure that i'm working towards it but every day doing something towards that so far with one with one side of it from the business side i must admit i have been moving and that's that's starting to get progress now i mean i'm it's nail biting stuff <laughs> believe me it's nail biting stuff but but i'm there and i feel i just feel pleased that i'm moving towards and i'm not just thinking about it anymore um and and believe you me some of the things that are happening i don't even know how you know like it's crazy it's crazy but it's happening so i'm not going to question it i'm going with this um because it works so it's just consistent action every single day writing act as if and what what it is that i want and then making sure that i follow up on my action plans and i do something towards my goal every day as opposed to because I, I work as well i've got all sorts of other things going on but but if I want this, if this is what I want, this is a path that I can take and I just need to make sure every day I'm doing at least something on that path um, towards it rather than just thinking about it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Nicole and you, Nicole and you, how do you take action? Yeah, so that uh, example that there's two ways. That example that Lorraine gave us is perfect and she's starting to see things showing up that she really needs. So she's already experiencing it. The other way is you've got to fill your space where you are you've got to outgrow what you are now so you've got to do everything that you're doing right now in your current business to the best of your ability and fill your space and while you're doing that you have to have a positive mental attitude so that you're receptive to ideas so you know napoleon hill always says start where you are that's what he's talking about you've got to fill your space where you are now that's action as well it's not action directly with your goal, like the one that Lorraine was talking about, but it's still action to towards the universe and towards doing everything now the way that you will do it when you have your business. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's excellent. And somebody else, and, and this is why these, these calls are so crucial because I can't remember if it was um, this call or the one that we have on Saturday. But it's, there was a conversation about being congruent. You know, I'm, I am the world's worst at being organized. I just run and just do, do what I've got to do, but I'm not being very organized. And I think it was you, Nicole, that had said, you know, if you're, if you're planning on having a business, but you're not putting your accounts in order already, like right now, then and you're not being congruent with what it is that you actually want to have. And I've realized there's things that the way that I need to be, um, or I, the way that I am when when I'm when I'm when I'm you know got everything that I want is not the way that I'm actually being in action. Do you know, like being organised, making sure that you know I've got somebody to manage the accounts for me or to, to talk me through so that I understand them. I was just leaving that up in the air, but that's no good. So it's all those little things as well, just acting right now, literally as though I've got it. Um, so how I would be concerned about every aspect of my business. Um, in the future and how I want to live and how I'm going to be with other people. Being that way right now is, is something that's action as well. It sure is. It sure is because you attract what you are, right? Yeah. 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 And it, it, can, it can be, it can be, I, I mean, I've, I've been practicing like literally right down to, because I was conscious, I've become that conscious right down to the way that, that I walk, how I talk, what my facial expressions are like, you know, because I catch myself now, I'm becoming so much more aware that, um, you know, I, I, I'm thinking one thing, but my, my body language doesn't reflect it. Like, what's going on there? <laughs> what's that about? You know, I'm you know, loving this vision that I've got, but I'm slumped over a desk, you know, I'm tight. That's, that's like, it's, it's, it's I'm, I'm at odds. So I'm catching myself now, and I'm obviously pulling that into, into line. So, and I do feel better, like I can immediately smile at myself when I realise, really Lorraine, <laughs> um, <laughs> what are you doing? So, um, and that's quite good, so it makes me smile and it immediately lifts my vibration, so, yeah. so I love it. But I'm trying to get very be aware about, it. like I said, posture even. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. You're doing such a brilliant job. <laughs> really are <laughs> uh, uh, thanks to you guys honestly ah uh, wow <laughs> and it's uh, you know that's another thing i was gonna say in the beginning we're talking about you know don't, don't don't talk about how things are don't even speak about them anymore 
actually at some point like i just i want to but but in a celebratory way does that make sense i don't want to be like oh my god you know this I'm, well, I'm thinking about obviously when I've stepped out of it because I'm almost out of the situation now. But I don't want to be like, oh, it was doom and gloom, God, my back was against the wall, it was terrible. I want to be like, wow, you know, despite all of that, this is what I've done. You know, like, and I'm thinking, that's a bit of a conflict for me. How do I not talk about it when actually that's the very thing that makes me so proud of everything? that I'm about to achieve. You know what I mean? How do I share that? Because that's that's useful. This is where I was, and this is the steps that I've taken, and this is how we can achieve. How do I share that? Because that's what I'm going to use to inspire other people. When, when you talk about it in that sense, that's a whole different vibration. Okay. Yeah, you're not dwelling on it. So that's okay. As, yeah. as in being part of it. You're, you're using it to enlighten other people. So that's a whole different thing. Okay. Good, 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 good. As long as, as long as they're not getting an image of it and relating to it, I guess, because ah. that, that could attach them because they are not where you are yet. Oh, ah. that's a good point. Because I'd be prattling on, thinking of doing them a favour, when actually, yeah, I might not be. Mm, okay. Yeah. How do I? How do, that, Okay, we'll have to, I'll have to think on that yeah, one. Yeah, about that one. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Because he, he says poverty in, in the book, you know, he, you need to say the word to tell you what not to do. <laughs> so just maybe don't elaborate, you know. Hello? Are you there? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah, just maybe don't elaborate. So, you know, I've come from not this. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and generally, the people, that I, well, the people that I, the people that I, the people that I, the women and children that I'll be working with will be in the, the very same situation. So I guess it's it's looking at their situation and then trying to show them that actually, you know, like, I don't know how I, I've got time to think about that. Yeah. But it, <laughs> yeah. It's taking you from here, so being there, but in your mind being somewhere else and in your behaviour, you know, removing yourself from that just by you know consistent action and faith and you know and the right association yeah I have a, I have a, can it I, as your reality yeah can I, can, can I give you something um, yeah sure. there I realized this 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 last two weeks I think last two weeks that there are two ways of looking at it you can you can be from right now from here where you are right now and you can look at your dream you see so you can you can be in your current space and then look at your dream and create your dream as it is a far thing away but then the, 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 the other thing and i think bob proctor says this is that you you look from your dream and then you go to your dream so you see you, you go to your ideal situation and from that ideal situation you take action so mm -hmm. every day so every day you don't imagine like okay i'm in this place etc but you say i am in this great business where everything is fine you know and then from there you take action mm -hmm. so, so so take action from the future as something like that as if it happens then you take action mm -hmm. so 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 you don't because there is a, this difference between going from where you are right now to go into your dream situation you see so so you can imagine basically it is imagine where you what your dream is and then go in that place and then take action so you're you're basically reversing it you are bringing the future to now and you are not going from now to the future you see you're because where when you go to your dream you are empowered and you are much better vibration and everything and then from there you can take better action than when you come back because Brock so Bob I think Bob Proctor said it in, in a video I sent to you guys he said something like go to your dream do as if it has already happened and then from there you take action behave like uh, like you are already a millionaire behave like you already have everything like everybody is working for you behave like that take action from there 
So that's that's something I realized. Yeah, I agree. That, that's that, what I mean. And, and that's why that's why you need to to be in the vision because if you if you stay to the vision constantly every day, then you are already there. You understand? Then you're taking action yeah. from the from the vision. I to I really I totally get that, and I I agree. When, I mean, we're in the we're in the same group, and when we when I write mine, I mean, I'm on day 55 now, I think it is, or 56, and mine has not changed. <laughs> it just, it's not like, I, I, yes, it would be amazing, I'd love to live in a wonderful house, and I'd like to fly around the world, and that's amazing, but this income stream is this specific amount of money, this income stream, this is exactly what I'm going to have, and I'm so happy and grateful that I have it. That income stream specifically, every single day, is what I work on. Um, because I've written about it and I've talked about how fantastic it is that I'm going to get it, and then I work on it. So that, yeah, I that's that's exactly the way to do it, and that's exactly how it works for me. Because I don't chop, I haven't chopped and changed. I am open, like I was very clear. This is just one. Thing. I'm very clear, and I'm open to other things coming and, and, and attracting other things. Um, but I am sticking to what it is that I want to achieve and you know and again being in the group has been great for me because I've now found I was afraid to put a date I think I shared that in, in a, a group before I was afraid to put a date but now it's so much more powerful that I have got a date on it because I'm I'm working actively towards that date as well you know and even if I miss it whatever you know it's having that date has made a real difference whoever said to me yes Lorraine don't be afraid to put the date thanks very much because <laughs> Because that, that's made a huge, huge difference for me as well. Like, yes, it's the goal, it's the dream, it's the big, big vision. But uh, I don't, I don't change it. It's like I'm working on it so intently, and I'm so focused on it, and it's amazing. And other things will come as a result of that. There'll be lots of other things. And I'm sure that's what's going to work for everybody else. Everybody's got their their style of doing things. But I, I just, for me, it works just to have that a single focus. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's 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 what it is for me. Um, and then I'll expand it as and when, you know, I get closer and things come to me, I guess. Actually, that brings me on to another point. I noticed um, one of the things, especially when we're talking about financial freedom and, and, and like I'm in a couple of groups where people are doing well, I have found myself feeling a little bit competitive. I have. Um, and and that's, that's as we were reading and I'm, I'm listening to the, the recording, I know that it's not about being competitive, and I know that there's enough for all, but I don't know where that's suddenly coming from, why that's suddenly coming up for me. But if I'm honest, I have found myself almost wanting to rush, which is not congruent with the way that I have been working, you know, like the way that I have been, you know, I've got my goal and I'm working on it. Lately, I've just found myself getting quite tense and just wanting to rush, which is not a good thing, especially considering things have been going well. I worry that that's going to... I don't know where that's come from. I don't know why I'm suddenly feeling like that either. It's something to explore. Yeah, I think that's covered in either the next chapter or some other oh, like good. two or three chapters. The feeling of wanting to rush. Yeah, that's but what's just happening. having faith, just having faith and being calm. Like working fast, but working calm. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. No, just having that knowing that it's all gonna come together. Yeah, it's just been a lot recent. I'd say in the last two weeks, look, I'm, I'm fighting it, but I'm aware that it's, I'm, I'm being patient. So is that a lack of faith, perhaps? Then that's something to consider, isn't it? Possibly. Which is ridiculous, considering everything's going well. <laughs> could just be oh, yeah. excitement, okay. too. Excitement. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps. Does anybody yeah. else find that, then, or is it just me? Yeah, it's just me. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. I would say everyone can, probably experiences that. <laughs> I, I can I can say something. I I um I had last week uh I one of my business uh, you know, my coaching programs. I called it like uh, the dream the dream uh, business coach. Okay, so then I googled and I saw there was a man exactly the dream business coach. Oh, he, no. And he had exactly wow. the same thing, <laughs> and, and he had videos and he had everything. But you know what I thought? I thought, mm -hmm. hey, he is here, so there must be a business. So I yeah. didn't think like I didn't think like, wow, this is a 
this is a bad thing and he took my so competitive would, would be like okay he took my name good so so i i just up into your speakers i can't hear i said this man is here the man is here and he's doing this video so there is a huge business and then what i did is i, I So, oh, instead of, so instead of being the the change it into my dream oh. business coach, and that's it. I'm in the same space as yeah. him, but I'm I'm focusing on other people. Yeah, that's it. I oh, have yeah. my own I have my own people, and I have my own thing, and so I don't I don't focus on competitive anymore, um, oh. because there is I think like there is abundance. So when you're competitive means that you know there is not enough time mm -hmm. so you can say like hey the, the time is running out of me so that's why i need to rush or there these people are better than my than me etc etc so i'm not i'm not thinking and one of the things for instance for competitive i mean i'm starting new things i have other businesses but i'm starting a new thing and there is no money yet but still, I'm working very hard as if there is money on that, you see. So I'm putting my passion on it. And I know that if you're delivering a good service, then people will come. So that's my approach to it. This is what I need to do. And I do it. I need to create. And that's it. And mm -hmm. I, last thing is I want to say is during the, uh, the Facebook uh, every day, what I see is that there is a, my relation to money kind of changed so for, okay. so how it is right now it is like you know there are i see money as dots dots on my okay. bank you see this so so like it's it's like okay i have to give i have to buy this and this costs ten thousand dollars rooney you've got a lot of static happening wow Oh, that's better. Yes, so I'm seeing. Oh, what? We're not really hearing you, Rooney. We're just hearing a lot of really loud static. I don't know whether you might be in a windy place or. Hello? We're still here. I, I, I think, <laughs> I, think, um, I, I understand what Rini was saying about his, his um, relationship to money has changed. I mean, mine has drastically. I think I put in that, a post the other day. I really couldn't connect with saying I wanted millions. I just, I would say it, but it didn't really work for me. But then when I lowered it, now it's like, okay, it's, I've been saying it so often, and I've seen myself with it so often, and it's not like, it's 152,000, but it's like I've seen myself with that. I've seen how I live with that and i am you know that so it's almost like um okay now i can expand even further and i can think about more but i couldn't do it straight away i, I couldn't connect with it straight away i was saying yeah, i'd like you know all this abundance but i didn't really feel it but i thought i felt it but not the way do you know what i mean so it's i had to start with something smaller um and more specific like a price and that's because uh, there was you know there was a time i was my it was turning your your yearly salary into a monthly salary and i wasn't on 152,000 a year i had inflated it slightly obviously but i thought that makes more sense to me i can do that that seemed doable and it was not like it's so it's not doable it was massive but it was still something that i felt like i could live really comfortably on it would be an abundant lifestyle that's an enormous amount of money um now that i have it it's like, oh, you know, I could do so much more for people if I had a little bit more. So, but, so I can now think about more money. So my relationship with money is changing as well. Yeah. Um, just because of the focus that I've been given to having a certain amount um, and working towards getting that certain amount. And I'm quite fortunate. I'm in a group, uh, a training group with people that earn that kind of money anyway. So it's not something that seems so far-fetched. So it was quite easy for me to connect with that kind of money. So it's, yeah. That's what I have to, I have to, I have to start from a smaller place. Um, I'm still not comfortable saying I'm going to earn three, ten million pound a month. That doesn't do anything for me at all. No. 
I'm getting a lot of mob fighting. Is there anybody else I'm trying to... Oh, that could be me. I'm outside as well. Oh, okay, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't follow because it was cutting out. Sorry, yeah. There. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I could hear, but and I agree. It does take a while to get your head around it, and, and the stronger your belief in yourself, mainly, it gets mm -hmm. the more you can believe that you're capable of, you know, pulling it off. <laughs> Yeah, can, I, I can I ask something, Nicole? Um, um, is it Lorraine and Rooney? Yeah. Um, one, one of the analogies, of, uh, I was listening, and one thing that I'm listening to every day is the Stranger Secret, uh, the 30 day challenge. And um, this is where Bob has got all this, and Napoleon Hill has got most of their information from. And what he said is as, long, as soon as you have that thought, just put it in the bank, it's already done. And when you observe, when you plant any seed, you know, it could be poison and it could be um, the mustard seed, it's not going to come up automatically. And he says, but just know that once you have thought that, rest and relax and just go about your business because it is growing as you keep that focus of what you want. And that has really helped me just stay in the vortex because when I'm in the vortex, when I know where there's peace and there's love and there's joy, then how could things not come to you? Because as you think, so shall it be, right? We attract what we, yeah, so, so everything, so the anxiety sometimes is like, well, gee, now I've got a coaching business, which me too, but how many clients do I have that are coming in? But what I'm seeing now is that the manifestation is, it's drawn by the currency, it's, you know, the currency of money, but there's also a current that's coming through called a frequency. And as we raise our bar to that standard, we automatically, without even realizing, will attract that to ourselves if we just keep serving and always giving more than we expect to others. And it has to come back. It's like watering your grass. You plant the seeds, you water the grass, and the grass isn't going to come up right away, but it has to come up because you have been pampering it, you have been loving it, you have been giving it to it. So it has to respond in time. So that's just an analogy that, that has really helped me. Yeah. Great, great. Thanks. Hey, he's perfect now. I can hear you perfectly. Yeah, much better. Yeah, it's very clear now. Yeah. And because some of the ways that it comes back is through inspiration of thought, just by being on that higher level of vibration of thought yourself, you're yeah. you're able to pick up on thoughts of that level that you, that weren't available to you before when you're on a lower frequency. So by keeping yourself up there with that really positive mental attitude and, and thinking really positively and feeling good and being in the realm of joy and happiness and love, you're you're open to more thoughts that are on that frequency. So you're gonna get much more inspiration and much more ideas coming to you as a result of that. So that's also how manifestation works. Can I also say something? You hear me? Yep, yep, loud and clear now, it's good. Okay, now what you said is also very good, being in the vortex. And another, yeah. another word, I want a word for it, which I, I taught last week is the theater of your mind. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. basically, if you are in the theater of your mind where everything is great, that is the creation, you see? So don't get out of the theater. So just, just... Yeah. Be be Stay that per movie. be that person who be that I mean for Lorraine be that person living in that house and you have to live in that house constantly in your mind. I mean people may, people or your partner or whatever they might uh, tell you you are you are crazy <laughs> you are behaving crazy but basically if you are in the theater of your mind or in the vortex or you know the, the Hicks people they call it the vortex and uh, Bob Proctor call it the matrix. So if yeah. you're there, what I, I, I did a little trick basically, you create a, a place in your mind where everything is good, there are no bad feelings, there are no bad, you know, nobody can get there. You are there and you are perfect and you are the person you, you wanna be. 
and what what you want to live like and if you are there then basically the vibration is good there and from there you can take actions so so yeah. I, so being in the vortex constantly you know be, <laughs> being there constantly uh, in that positive mindset that that is yeah. if if you manage to do that being great grateful also is doing that you see reminding yourself that you are grateful but if you are in that place all the time then basically you change your life because mm -hmm. you change your mind mm -hmm. you see yeah. <laughs> so everybody everybody's going to look at you like whoa who's this That's woman exactly or who's this how they look at me because it's like yeah so so if so if you are in that place the whole the time and what you're, you 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 also said you know uh, it doesn't come automatically but if you are in that place, then things might Rooney, can, you, can you say that again because you broke up again then can you say that again but because it doesn't come automatically yes. if if you are in that if you create a space in your mind and you call it vortex or you call it, call it the playground or wherever you, you create a place in your mind and that's the place where you are living your ideal life yeah. then when, when you are there you are a businesswoman there or the perfect coach or whatever and for me it is you know i'm driving there and i have my big business etc if you stay in that place then it must realize and people, yeah. the only thing is people might call you like you are crazy because you are behaving differently. Good. But Yay. If, <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness we're behaving differently. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. but it doesn't really matter, Rooney, does it, if what other people are thinking. Um, you know, uh, thank you for sharing what you're sharing. That's very powerful about staying in your own movie. And when we don't look at what other people are thinking, whether we're crazy or not, we are in our movie. And if they want to watch it, they will choose to watch it. And yeah. today, when we, were, when we were driving the Porsche, I looked around and I said, how come it took me so long to do this? <laughs> and then I started, I started noticing all these other people. And, you know, they were, whatever they were driving, not that I was judging it, but I thought, look at how, what I've created just by the sea even to go and test drive because then the feeling comes the vibration is so powerful you go into the showroom they're shaking your hands it's elegant you just feel so rich by being in that environment and you know what and before i, I would never have thought of it so it's it's just your it's your own movie and it's so much fun and it brings joy so the more joy you have the more you attract that in your life and the kind of people it's so exciting and, and I'll tell you what's funny. Yeah, it does. I'll tell you what's funny because that's amazing. I literally, people people see me and they say, are you all right? And they put their face like in that, you know, the head to the side, like all sympathetic. You're all right. Yeah, I'm fine. Like, and that's, they don't know what to say. They don't actually know what to say or because everybody wants to launch into this, like, what's going on, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, like, I'm just like, yeah, fine. And, and I genuinely, it's not fake. It's not false. It's like, because, um, the, the, the actions every day of writing where I am in my head. I am in my movie. I like that. I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna say that. I'm. I am in my own movie, <laughs> literally all the time. I've needed to be, it's and it has been, it's a savior. It's amazing. Um, but it's funny. Other people's reactions. Other people, friends, family, want to be. They want to draw you into this. You know, into their world. Like, oh God, life's hell. Yeah. That's. You know, they're, they're just on yeah. autopilot. You know, they mean well. They really mean well. They genuinely, you know, they love me. They mean well. Um, but the type of conversation that they want to have um, isn't, it, it's just autopilot, isn't it? Oh, it's been rubbish today. Oh, my boss, this or that or whatever. That's their conversations. Like, even when I'm with my friends now, just listening to how they talk, it takes a long time before everybody, and several glasses of wine, before anybody starts to relax and just shake off their day which is quite sad, really, for them. Um, but obviously for me to suggest that they enter a movie in their own mind, then, yeah, they'd, they'd actually stop inviting me anywhere. <laughs> Can, I add, yeah. Can I add something? Because I think, I, think, I think this is how it works. 
uh, when you are in your movie, in the theater of your mind, the vortex or, you know, wherever you call it, the matrix, when you are there and you are, that's the perfect, the perfect place for you, you know, the place you created, basically, mm -hmm. there, there are a couple of things. One, the vibration is okay, you see, and then two, you start seeing the world differently. Because yeah. now, for instance, if you are in that place and you see a villa, now you're starting looking at your villa and your, the villa was already there, but because you are in that place right now, you're starting okay. seeing the villa and saying like, whoa, you yes. see, so, yeah. or you start, or you, you are starting, you start, you, because you change, you are starting seeing the world differently. Mm. And then you attract people differently. So you're starting seeing, seeing other people, you know, who oh. were already, already doing the same. So I think for me, this basic, the, the, the thing of, of growing rich until now, this book is about changing your perception of the world, knowing who you are, you know, and being creative. Yeah. And not, and not letting the world dictate your, 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 your story. That's basically yeah. for me. It is. It is a. It is a book about the mind. It is a book about reprogramming your mind, and and and, and, and you know, believing that everything is possible. That's that's. For, that's what what yeah. I think. And and I think because you program yourself differently, you see different things. Because now you're going. You know, basically there is a universe around you with all those possibilities, and because you focus on your passion. And your goal now you're going to now you're going to see the paths you see you're going to see <laughs> how it is possible mm. Mm. yeah that's right yeah for sure i i i i wish i do do wish that you know i could encourage my friends um No? I think we've lost Lorraine. Uh, line 82, I think, is, you know, she's talking about her friends and uh, um, you may be able to hear us, Lorraine, we can't hear you. <laughs> um, talking about being able to, uh, you know, help her friends. And line 82 says, some people remain in poverty because they are ignorant of the fact that there is wealth for them. These people can best be taught by showing them the way to to affluence in your own person and practice. So. That's what she's doing. Yeah. yeah. And you know, how do people win an Oscar? You know, when you think of actors, um, they win an Oscar because they believe so much about that character that they live it, they breathe it, they rehearse it, and look what they win from it. So maybe that's a good thought for a movie. You know, when people make a movie, how do they win an Oscar? Or, So yeah. the, the question, the question to you all is: Have you created your own movie, or are you still, or are you still waiting outside? And and this question is more for Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, Nicole, are you are you outside the movie, or are you in the movie in the production studio? My mind is the center of my universe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. Good. Yeah. Mind is mind is your universe, Nicole. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know what, what you were saying earlier about lining up with what you want first and then taking action. Because then the action that you take is usually inspired action and it doesn't feel like work anymore. Like with your office, you know, you you felt how wonderful it would feel and how grateful you would be when your office was organized and all of a sudden you were getting these impulses to action. And so the same with everything. If you're in your movie and and you're working from within the movie, you will be inspired on what action to take and it won't feel like work. It'll feel like fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm, what I'm going to try this uh, the, the, the next week because this week I'm uh, on holiday, but the next week I'm going to try is wake up and then um you know 
become just don't don't say like this is the vision this is where i want to go but just think like this is where i am and then what should i do what should, shall i do today that 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 is uh you know so the dream coach the dream business coach i'm the dream business coach what how does the the, the, the life of the a, a day of the dream business coach look like so what what should the what should the dream business coach do today and then do it you see so i'm i'm, I'm not going to think about it as a, as, as a goal to the future anymore but i'm going to try to experiment say like i'm there now what what needs to be done today yep and that would be <clears throat> that would be another use of the will so you that would take some will because with the check the check question to explain the use of the will and properly directing your attention so for you to start thinking in that way is going to take a bit of willpower because you'll probably slip it in and out of it quite a bit to start with but i'm sure that with practice you'll maintain it more and more as you go along i think the will i think the will is about focus you see so i think the will is basically what i said before the will is about entering the vortex you see so you can say like okay i'm going to think about all these negative things blah blah i'm going to read the newspaper i'm going to listen to what people think about me or you can say i'm going to use the will to put the focus on what needs to be done today and the first thing is enter uh, be in the theater of my mind or be in the vortex or being you know whatever so you use the will to focus so so the will is basically focus <laughs> and where, what you focus you on is what you become so i think the will is something like you know pushing you you can use the will to sleep in your bed the whole day or you can use the will to enter the the dream and do it yeah so that's called discipline does that mean discipline really is discipline doesn't it yeah part partially partially and it does take a lot of will to keep yourself in that picture and not let the other things around you in your environment take you out of the picture and there is why you really need to use your will to always maintain that image without allowing any other thoughts to come in or they'll come in but predominantly be the image you know you've got to reach the tipping point where the image when you holding the image is more than 50 percent of the time at least so that right and using the will to snap back all of those other thoughts that are coming in you know kick them out quickly before they start to take over and, and invite more of their friends because that's what happens and keep their mind focused on that picture or, or inside your your own movie and it takes willpower especially when we haven't um regulated our thoughts before we were, we've never been trained to to tell our mind which thoughts are allowed to stay and which thoughts are, are not allowed in so it takes a lot of will to to um, train our minds to think the way that we want them to and it's the most difficult thing to do I have I have a question huh? do you think uh, okay this is just there is an ideal you living in that dream and being become being your, your wildest dreams and there is the you right now you see so if you use the will to be focus constantly on that person you want to be or to be that if you use the will to do that basically then you become that person so i yes. think the will is the, so because there is a difference all the time that your willpower is not so high that's why you are flipping into switching between <laughs> you know the, being you right now and being the person in the ideal so if you manage, if you have a strong willpower, that 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 is the power that that that, that focus, that focus where you want to be, then basically you become that person. So my theory is, if your will is very 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 strong, then you become the person you want to be. Twenty four hours a day, and then basically, you know, you switch the, the other you. 
<laughs> right now is, is past. So, so basically you jump into, you jump into your new, new you. This exercise, basically I did an exercise, I think three weeks ago somebody did an exercise with me when they said, okay, meet your new, your, 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 your successful Rooney, you know? How does your successful your Rooney looks like? And then I said, okay, this is the Porsche and he drives. And then he says, what's happening with that person? And then I said, yeah, he's laughing all the time. He's looking at me and he's laughing like, hey, I'm here and you're there. And what happened was a really strange thing because suddenly I flipped and I became that, that, that new. You, you see, so the willpower pushed me and it switched in a better version than me. So I, so basically what I think is that the willpower is, uh, you have the willpower to switch to the new you, but then sometimes things happen around you that you don't believe that and you come back. You see, <laughs> all the time you're flipping, switching. And then when you have a strong willpower, that means that you are basically, you become the new person. You feel all the time the same, et cetera, et cetera. And then you have to become that first and then the feeling and the money and all those things attached to that one will come to you. Exactly. And, and the more you use the will and practice that, the stronger the will will get and then the easier it will become. And like you said, eventually you'll just be that person. Yes. Yes. So I think, so, so it feels like for, for me, it's, you know, facially, it feels like, you know, you are like now version five. So you are Lorraine version five or Nicole version five. And then if your version, the best version you can imagine is version 10, you see? And then suddenly you move from version five to version 10. And then you are, now you are version 10. And then you're looking back and you say, wow, did I think differently? I mean, this feels so comfortable. I mean, so then you have jumped, you see? Then you have, then you have ju jumped, basically. Then you have become, you have be basically, you wake up one day and then you are, you are totally reprogrammed. You are totally confident with your new thoughts and with your new life, etc. No doubts anymore. Yeah, I like that illustration. It's like an upgrade. <laughs> What do you mean the version, Rooney? I wasn't quite understanding that. I'm just curious. What did you mean by you go to five? I wasn't quite understanding. Yeah. In, in soft in software program, there is a there is a version of everything. So oh. when you when you oh, get okay. version version five, it's you know version five is the latest one, like an iPhone version five, you know, latest one, and you can also be the version. I mean, I I believe that you are. You are working on yourself. So version 10 of, of Gloria will be, you know, <laughs> like yeah. you, cannot, you cannot imagine it right now. But in your dream, the version 10, 10 is basically the one, it's you, but it's the one who has everything. <laughs> All yeah. your desires have come true. So I, yeah. I, was, I, was th I was thinking about what happened with me also that I switched from version you know, now oh, to, the, okay. to, the, yeah. to, to the next one. And you can use the willpower to switch that. Yeah. So first, okay. first okay. so you imagine all those thoughts, etc., etc., in your in the theater of the mind. Basically, you are, on that moment, you are very close to version 10 of yourself or whatever version okay. you, you call it. But the problem is that you, you switch back constantly, you see? You don't believe yeah. it. You, you don't believe it. it. It's true. So you go to the other one. So you go to the old version when you could, when you've already purchased the new one. So you better stick with it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. You you have felt okay. it and everything, yeah. but circumstances and everything. So going yeah. back to the book, the book is about focusing, being grateful, yeah. believing that that new version is basically it is truth, faith. It is truth. It is there. You see, it, it is there. And then you have to become yeah. that version. So how do you become that version? That's the, the next question, you see. 
how you become that person permanently. Yeah, you just see it because we're all evolving. How does a how does a seedling become a big plant? How does a tree all of a sudden? We have trees outside our back, and all of a sudden, all the leaves are coming out. How does that happen? Because that's the thinking stuff that happens. Yeah. Yeah, by practicing being the person, you're creating new neural pathways and creating new habits. The old habits that you're not using anymore and the old neural pathways that you're not using anymore start to grow back over and wither away and die. And that per part of your personality and those characteristics do die. They are gone and the new ones are your new reality, physically as well as spiritually. Yeah. That's right. So acting as if, you know, I, you know, with uh, Rhea, what she said, up living and acting as if, because it's all, it's like we're actors, we're, we're all in our movie, so if we're acting and we're believing it, then the stronger we have that conviction, then we're not influenced by what other people say or do. And it just really, it's about fine-tuning, isn't it? It's about fine-tuning what's really your priority in life and what you really want. Yeah, and it'll change as you go along. You know, once you reach that number 10, uh, the t number 10 yeah. upgrade, then you'll be looking at 15 and 20 because the universe yeah. is about continual growth. So we'll always be moving forward and continuing to grow. So but we need to be constantly upgrading. Yeah, that, that's the whole idea. <laughs> it is upgrade. <laughs> Just like the version of the computer. That's a good analogy, Tony. Yeah, I like it. Remember that. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Great. All I'm right. Tired, huh? yeah. Well, thanks. Thank you, what everyone. Time is, what time is it there, Nicole? Uh, 20 past 7 a.m. on Wednesday. Oh, my God. Okay. On Wednesday. And it's, um, what time is it here? Uh, I don't know what time it is. Probably 11 here. Okay, I will, I, I will go now and, 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 and uh, enjoy my great, uh, wonderful life. Yes, enjoy <laughs> your holiday. Yeah, have a great holiday. Have, have a great holiday. Just just know that you are in this beautiful movie and you are the movie. And there's no other movie <laughs> wherever yes. you are on that holiday. <laughs> there's no other movies and this is the movie yes. of my life. <laughs> and you know... <laughs> And you know what? Don't get those wires crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.